Most of the time, high blood pressure seems to come out of the blue with no signs or symptoms. This is called primary hypertension. But in some cases, we do know the direct cause of high blood pressure. When we do, it's called secondary hypertension. Underlying kidney problems or structural problems like narrowing of the arteries often causes secondary hypertension. To determine your blood pressure, your doctor will check the pressure on your artery walls when the heart pumps and when the heart rests between beats. The test is extremely easy to do and it produces two numbers. These make up your overall blood pressure reading. The first number, or the number on top, represents the systolic pressure. This is the pressure inside the arteries when the left ventricle of the heart contracts, pushing blood through the arteries. The bottom number represents the diastolic pressure. This number is lower than the first. It represents the pressure inside the arteries when the heart is at rest between beats. While these two numbers make up your overall blood pressure, only one of them needs to be high for you to have high blood pressure or hypertension. To know whether you have high blood pressure, you need to have it checked. And as we've said, your blood pressure reading is made up of those two numbers. So you may want to pause to write these down. Your blood pressure is normal if your reading is less than 120 over 80. If you have a reading of any number between 120 to 139, over 80 to 89, you have prehypertension. Stage 1 hypertension includes readings between 140 to 159, over 90 to 99. Stage 2 hypertension is the most severe form of high blood pressure. You'll be in stage 2 if your blood pressure reading is greater than 160 on top and 100 on the bottom. In most cases, hypertension doesn't cause any symptoms. However, if blood pressure is extremely high, patients can experience headache or feel the heart pounding. The only way to know whether you have high blood pressure is to get it checked. That said, some people will have certain factors that put them at higher risk of developing hypertension. Age, gender, family history, and race all can affect whether or not you'll develop high blood pressure. Your risk increases with age, and hypertension affects more younger and middle-aged men than women. But women over 60 are particularly likely to develop high blood pressure, with more than half of them having it. And people with a family history are at greater risk too, as are African Americans. Your lifestyle choices also play a role in developing hypertension, and we'll talk about those in our prevention and treatment section.